hey lovelies welcome back to my channel it's your girl mai aka mariam aka ali so weird to be on this side of the camera but um we have um another um i guess form of video i have a different kind of video for you guys today um i'm just embarking on the hair content stuff so this will be my first video on hair content it's been a minute since i recorded feels good to be back yeah we have been posting but we haven't been recording the obvious backlog so today's video is on um creating um a live-in um hair rinse basically um from clothes aka karakul and um i will also state the benefits of it and i'll just show you how to make it so let's get right into it so what do you need first of all you need a bowl of any sorts a container i guess i have with me this bowl here a glass bowl aesthetic papa says you could use a plastic one <laughs> and then i have with me some little um carafu aka cloves in here and then i also have with me some cold water so the first step is to get your carafu i'm gonna get it out of this uh, pocket so depending on your on the amount of hair on your head or in the amount of um um hair rings you want to create um considering maybe the amount of duration you want to use it for just um make the portions according to that personally i'm just making a little i think i'll just use it tomorrow that is only so i'm gonna make a very small portion for demonstration purposes so i'm gonna have possibly it's a big spoon but i'm not able to pick everything nicely but i'm gonna the intention was to have two tablespoons of that so i'll just make it three for the purpose of demonstration and then the first thing you're gonna do as y'all can notice there is something going on here it's not too clean so if you have to pick though there really is a need to pick pick and then after that wash so i'm gonna go wash this and then i'll be back so i've decided to demonstrate how you wash so you'll just take a little bit of water and then you rub them on each other like this inside the water i hope this is clear you will do that in swahili we call it um kufikicha chavifikicha but they don't mind my dry hands I just wash them before starting the video. Yeah, start with clean hands, y'all. Start with clean hands. So you'll do that possibly twice or thrice, depending on the amount of dirt you can see. As you can see, for in this case, the water isn't that hasn't gotten dirty or brown, so that means it's not as dirty. So I washed mine twice, and now this is all we have. So after washing, you'll just drink the water. So the purpose of washing is because y'all this is um this is a plant it was planted it was at a shamba somewhere it's just been uprooted there's a whole process to like like the growing buds but like there's a whole process to it there's a whole process to harvesting and then people touching it and then there's the packaging so always wash your spices especially for cooking so after you're done washing um this is what you have nothing much and then now there are two ways of doing this you can either use um hot water can pour you some hot water in there or you could um basically boil this in a sufuria and then drain it after that's what i do most of the time but that's when i have like a mixture um of different i'd say spices and herbs like i normally mix up some fenugreek and some hibiscus i normally shimsha for that purpose and it's normally because i like need it asap so you can do that and it's actually a really good way because you could always like drink the water after but because you watch this you can always drink after so the method i'm gonna show today is more or less similar to like how you'd make cold pressed um cold pressed oil so we're just gonna use cold water for each as so again um depending on your portions the amount of um cloves You used 
So I'm just gonna pour all of that as so. So depending on the amount you need, or you could you'd add water accordingly. So to my two tablespoons, I'd say I've added like uh, half a cup of water or three quarter. So you could use similar portions. And then after that, for this second part, and that's why I think I'd actually recommend for you guys to use um, a container like with Tupperware so that you can just cover it after. Or the other option would be for you to enclose the mixture with foil and then let it sit overnight. So if you do not have foil or if you don't have a container that has um, a lid, because I, I think it's better for it to be like tightly like closed. So you could always put it in a bottle and then close it nicely and then let it sit overnight. Is it just me or the color of the water is already turning? Meaning it's already um, draining from the carafe. This is so beautiful. So you don't need hot water as you can see. And I think probably this is also like the best way to go. Because you're actually able to like retain all the nutrients. Because there's always that possible chance of heat taking away too much. Including some nutrients. So this enables you to get everything. 100%. So yeah that is um so i think i'll leave it overnight and then i'll show you guys the results tomorrow morning so a day has passed and um this is our results i actually ended up switching it to a container with tupperware like i said so this is how it's been overnight outside the fridge room temperature is okay and this is how it looks on the inside today the color is changed y'all it's like so deep right now so i'm just pour that into this bowl for better visuals as you can see the color of the sticks has changed they're now way lighter they're like cream or just a really light brown and the water is now um the color of like strong tea for the lack of a better description guys something's not happening with the lighting what's happening with the lighting too much light possibly yeah that's how it's supposed to look like oh my god guys what's happening but this is the result as y'all can see should I just switch off? I think that's okay. Yeah. So after this, you can either pour this into a spray bottle. Mine is in close by as usual, or rather I don't have it here. Or you can pour it into a bottle that has a dropper or any container. Just use your dropper for application purposes. So you can apply this both on your scalp and um, your hair body. There's a bar that's not giving me rest, y'all. It's so loud. Yeah, so you can put this on your scalp or on the body of your hair. It's okay for both. Um, as stated in the benefits, it has both um, beneficial um, purposes for both your scalp and your hair and um yeah you can choose to wash it out rinse it out maybe so you could use it either as a hair rinse where you rinse it there after i believe that's the meaning of a hair rinse or you can use it as a leave-in um so that's according to your choice how you feel it best to use it but yeah and that's that and that's that so guys do try it out and let me know how it goes but you can be assured of so many benefits so y'all do that and let me know what's up otherwise thank you for watching do like share subscribe leave a comment tell your mama to tell her sister and her cousin and brother like yo just spread the word spread the word bring in new subscribers damn and um thank you for watching see you next time